Hey guys, Kid Drew here, and today I have a podcasting 101 video for you guys. This is going to be long, I'm going to you know, tell you that right now, uh, out of the box. It's going to cover how to set up a podcast, um, basic stuff you'll need, um, all that type of jazz. I know I've done a couple videos on it before, but this is going more in depth, showing some new services, uh, my recommendations, and uh, basic equipment you'll need obviously will be a microphone to record. You know, you don't want to go for something really cheap, but I would recommend brands like Logitech, Plantronics, Alltech Lansing. Um, you're also going to need a headset or, you know, if you can go for a headset or the mic built in, you know, if you want that. Or if you want to go for a separate, you know, external mic plus headphones because you're going to need headphones if you have gas or anything on. You don't want them echoing if they're on your speakers, you know, so headphones are really recommended. Obviously a computer, portable, if you're doing, you know, more interviews, you want to go on the go, laptop or desktop. Um, I personally do them on my desktop and I find it it's uh, really handy if you have a spare machine at use when you're recording because you can use another machine. Uh, let's say you're doing one machine with the recording, Skype, all that stuff, and then another machine to browse for and you know, any Google searches or anything like that. So you want to make sure, especially if you're using one machine, that's a powerful machine that can do multitasking, like maybe a couple people on Skype while recording the conversation. Um, and if it's video uh, podcasting, which is a whole other subject, uh, pr basically the same thing with video, I should say. But, you know, the com quality comes into play. Uh, you know, file sizes are going to be bigger, obviously, in video all that type of stuff so just take that into mind um so just invest in the right equipment and uh yeah um and people wondering i'm using the blue snowflake mic which is a relatively cheap uh but really good uh podcasting mic there's also the samson zeo one you would recommend stuff like that anyways guys let's dive right into the software with the voip services and uh i'll catch you in a second we do that and um I know a lot of some people may say, oh, you know, you're sponsored by Skype and Pamela and you're recommending them. Um, I, I highly recommend them because I like their product. I don't, you know, ask them. To, I didn't, you know, make a deal with them so that because uh, I didn't, you know, I, I knew about the product. I really liked it beforehand and, I, you know, I support them and they support what I do. And that's why, you know, um, they sponsored me. And that's what I really, really want to emphasize that, uh, you know, that I'm not, what do you call that? I'm not favoriting them because they sponsored me or anything like that uh it's just that skype really is the one that gets it done and gets it done really great and great awesome quality um uh, it's free pc to pc calls pc to landlines you can pay but really really cheap um they have a lot of cool equipment they even recommend some headsets that you might want to use and it has built an im client it's really really awesome now uh, i guess you can say an add-on to that it's called pamela pamela.biz is where you can get pamela for skype which extends the skype uh, with a lot of cool features like uh, video chat recording and chat uh, video recording, chat recording, and Skype call recording, which is a really key feature for podcasting. You can record all the calls that you make within Skype with multiple people, whether it's 10 to 20. You know, it may be a little bit heavier on Pamela, but uh, you know, there's different versions for your needs: the basic version, the professional version, which I use, and there's the business edition stuff like that. Um, uh, so you can incorporate this with Skype, and it works really well for podcasting, whether you're doing a video or audio. Uh, podcast recording. And there's a lot of other ways you can do it, but these are the two that I recommend. And I'm actually going to leave links to not only the programs you can download, but my video overview on Pamela and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So you check out the video description or look out for video annotations. Now the next thing I want to mention here, if I can get this out of the way real quick, opening up this notepad, is uh, recorders and editors. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly jump over to uh, an editor that um, it's free and you can download it. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this in the video description so, so we transition really quick. Audacity is a free cross-platform, works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Uh, free audio recording and editor. Uh, so you can record in Pamela and drop it in here and edit it. Uh, or you can even, um, what do you call that? Record in, uh, how should I say? Sorry, my volume got turned down. Record in a... Uh, Record in Audacity by yourself if you don't have multiple people recording you know, with you or if you don't have a mix or anything like that and you just want to record the podcast by yourself. You can use Audacity to do that, chop it up, and edit it. Really good at doing that. You can see the record button, a simple UI, um, and some awesome tools here to work around with along with effects, fade in, fade out, change pitch, that cool type of stuff. So it's free. Uh, there's a lot of professional ones. I mean, there's a sound booth for Adobe. Uh, you know, there's... Uh, I can go on and on with just all these applications, Mixcraft, uh, there's so many, but uh, Audacity is free, so, you know, why not try it out? All right, so, yeah, that would cover your uh, editing and recording, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this now and get on to, my notepad closed there, sorry, get on with the submitting the actual podcast, how to aggregate it. Now, there's a couple ways here. 
as you see here, I use, I believe this is called PodTrack, the service I use. I'm not positive because we helped me set it up, but I'll probably do a whole, uh, ask Reed to do a whole another video on this because it's a cool service. And actually, my Skype is ringing in the background. Sorry about that. Um, hope you guys can't hear that. I'm going to go ahead and have to hang up that call in a second here. But um, if you go to, uh, what do you call that? Uh, iTunes and notice that there's a whole bunch of my podcast is on there as well as it is on my website. That's because uh, iTunes is actually taking the feed from my website and pushing it out to you know it's pushing it from my website to iTunes. And you know there may be a delay in time when it actually gets from my site to iTunes, but you know it all works out. Um, now I recommend it in the past, and I still even though I don't use them, I used it when I began probably for the first months of podcasting. A service called Podbean, which costs money. I think they have a free trial you can use, right? Something like that, or a free version. Uh, where they kind of aggregate it for you. So if you know you're lazy and you want somebody else to do it for you, Podbean can do that. Or if you have your own site and you're hosting it at like HostGator, GoDaddy, wherever, and you have, uh, you know, you have to be obviously be aware of your disk space and stuff like that. You can store your podcast on there and make like a directory, and from that, you know, uh, or you know, you can kind of just store your uh, podcast wherever, you know, uh, whatever folder on your website, and upload them to the website via FTP or whatever. And then use this link right here, which is a script that you take your website title in the blog, and then you put obviously whatever you want title, what the title of your website is. Put the URL, put a description of it, put the language, copyright info, webmaster email address, enclosure, enclosure description, enclosure link, uh, enclosure type, and the enclosure size. <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of stuff. I don't actually don't even believe you have to fill everything out. If you just want to get more descriptive and fill everything out, then you can. Then you just hit create RSS 2.0 feed. And then after that, it will actually, um, what do you call that? It'll actually just make you a feed. And then from that feed, you can post it out into iTunes or wherever, Zune Marketplace. And um, it'll aggregate it. So once you got that feed, I'm not going to actually make a feed because I already have my podcast all set up. Um, just head over to iTunes. And I'm going to go ahead and pull iTunes in. So go over to the iTunes store. From iTunes store, go over to podcast. Just click the tab. You don't have to click actually anything on the down drop arrow. Just click the tab itself, and then the right here, you're going to need an iTunes account for this. Be aware of that. So I'm already logged into my account, as you can see. Go to Submit a Podcast, and I'm going to click that and let that load. And then, uh, sorry, the mic got kind of turned here. Let me turn it back. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, you see the uh, feed URL section right here that you just pasted in, and then you're just going to have to actually kind of uh, add some basic information, the title, the category, stuff like that, and then you have to give it a while, uh, and then Apple will update you, I believe, by email, um, showing you that your podcast has been, you know, indexed into their database, and I'm totally spelling this wrong here, sorry. Um, for example, now, uh, after a while, you would just search your podcast, and mine would be tech-world, and I'm just going to search it, I'm going to let iTunes go ahead and access that. Hey guys, back here. Sorry, iTunes is being really, really, uh, I don't even know what's wrong with it right now. Actually, it's just really slow and uh, loading up the, the podcast page. I'm having a feeling it's because uh, I have an Apple update and I'm supposed to update to the latest 9.1, whatever. But anyway, um, after uh, what's supposed to happen, I'm just going to show you my Tech World page for the podcast because after you aggregated that RSS feed, um, anytime you would upload, uh, let's say, let's say, like you see here at the episode archive, I would upload episode 50. Moments later, Apple iTunes would take it from, you would check the feed, and then it would upload it into their directory, which would then be able to be pushed out from, uh, their directory of iTunes to anybody who subscribed to that, you know, feed on iTunes. So if you have subscribers, it's gonna, one, take the content from your RSS feed, which is taking content from your site, over to um, iTunes, which will then distribute it to your subscribers. I know it's kind of a thing you would need a diagram to kind of, you know, visualize, but I uh, um, hope you understood it. Um, again, if you're doing a video podcast, you can submit the same thing through iTunes. Again, it's a little bit trickier in the equipment. You're going to start, you're going to actually have to, you know, uh, make good preparation, you know, for when you're about to record, have a nice, you know, kind of setup. You don't want it looking messy around when you're, you know, recording, especially a podcast. You want it to look professional. I mean, if that's what you're aiming for, if you're just aiming for like a daily vlog, that's more stuff on YouTube. But if you're uh, looking for a podcast, uh, invest in some good equipment. Obviously, you don't have to go out and spend $300. But, I mean, if you go out and spend something that's decent, uh, like a Samsung CO1U or a Blue Mic, uh, it's a good investment. It'll get you a long way. Uh, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the software I recommend. Don't forget to check out the link in the video description for all the stuff to set it up, uh, whether, you know, whatever way you decide to do it. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment. Uh, please comment on your thoughts. Uh, rate the video five stars or whatever you thought. 
you know, it deserved. Uh, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So thanks, guys. Check out the website, adrianstech.com, and email me if any questions, concerns, requests at adrianstech at gmail.com. And last but not least, check out our daily podcast at podcast.adrianstech.com. Thanks for listening.